In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model the appearance of a simple padded box. This box will have a padded interior that represents some soft velvet or other padding you might have in a jewelry box or other precious container. The first thing to do is to create a component. We'll call this component box. Then we'll create a sketch on the ground plane. We'll create a center rectangle. Click on the origin and then drag out 100 tab 100. Then we'll extrude this box up 100. Next, we'll go ahead and shell the box and we'll give it a dimension of 1.5 thickness. So now we have this simple square box for illustrative purposes and we want to create padded sides. So let's go ahead and do that. Switch to the create form workspace and then we're going to create a plane it gives you the options of having a center plane or a two-point plane in this case we want to pick a two-point plane that way we can snap to these edges and we'll click this face and then we click this corner orbit around and click the bottom corner then it asks us how many faces we want this is the divisions on the horizontal and vertical so let's make eight in both directions. And we don't want any symmetry, but sometimes that can be a nice feature, and we'll say OK. Next, we want to right click on this form and say Edit Form. We want to click this middle point and then toggle Soft Modification. As you can see here, now when I move this, it's going to move all the points, rather than if I don't have Soft Modification, it just pulls one point out like this. So we'll go back. And we'll make sure we have soft modification. You can also change the distance of the soft modification. So if I want to go out 60 millimeters, it's going to go out that far. And I can also choose by face count, which is a nice feature, because then I can just choose four faces. And then I can choose the weight, how much of an influence it has, and I can choose the transition. I want to choose bulge, and then I'm going to just pull the face this way. We can decide how much of a bulge of fabric we want and then we'll say OK. Next, we want to edit the form, and we want to double click all these top edges. Hold Shift, then double click on the edge, double click on the edge, orbit, keep holding Shift, double click on the edge. Then we can move these edges back. We just need to move them past the box, so now it has some definition. And you can, if you want a more poofy thing, you can move it even farther, that's up to you. Then we'll say OK. Next, we need to flatten those edges. So we'll click Flatten with all those edges selected. If you didn't have those edges selected, make sure you select the outside edges. And then there's a couple choices we have. We want to use Select Parallel Plane. So we'll go ahead and pick any parallel plane of the box. And then you notice that all those edges are nice and flat. Then we'll say OK. We can now finish the form. Of course, you could add more detail and ripples and undulations if you chose, but I'll click Finish Form. Then we're going to move this form so we can make sure we have that body selected. And then we can click the Move tool. And for this, we're going to move point to point. We'll click this top point, and then we'll click an inside point of the box. Then we'll say OK. So now this is perfectly inside there, but it's just a surface. If I hide this body, you notice that it's hollow. We actually want this to be a body. So how do we do that? Well, we could make some construction planes. So let's do that. I'm gonna do plane through two edges and I'm gonna make a top plane. And then I'm gonna make, then I'm going to make another plane through two edges and I'll make sure I choose this inside plane right here. And you should be able to select through and then say, okay. And then I want to make one more plane through two edges, and I'll construct plane through two edges, and I'll click this plane and this edge and say OK. Now I should be able to create a boundary fill, but it's hard to select this, so I'll hide my construction planes. I'll select this piece, then reshow my construction planes and click all of my construction planes. And once I do that, I can see that I have this green entity, so I'll select these cells. 
Sometimes there could be more than one, but I only want this one. And then I'm going to make a new body and I'm going to remove the tools and I'm going to say, OK, I can hide my construction planes. And now if I remove the first body, you'll notice that this is an actual solid that we can model parametrically now. Next, I'm going to give this an appearance. I'll press A. Then I'll select fabric and let's just pick some leather and some weathered leather. Perfect. And I'm going to double click on this and just change the scale a little bit, just a little bit bigger. That looks good there. Now we can create a circular pattern. So I'll click create pattern, circular pattern. We want to pattern bodies. I'll click this body. Then the axis will be the center axis. And if we do four, since this is a square box, it's going to work fine. If you had a rectangular box, you'd have to do mirrors and make different size pieces of puffing. And then I'm going to say, OK. So now we have this inside puff on our box. The last thing we could do is hide these bodies. Then I'll marquee select the entire box. I'm going to modify and just put a slight chamfer on the box of, let's say, uh, 0.3 just to round off those edges, press OK. Give this some appearance. We'll give it some chrome appearance. Double click the chrome. Give it a little bit more roughness. Click Done. Close this window. Let's show our bodies again. So now we have this box with a nice padded interior. You can also put a padded piece down on the bottom if you wanted to. And then in the render workspace, this will look really nice and we can see what our padded box would look like for product development and showing off to various clients. You can modify these forms to be much more intricate to your liking, but that's how you make a solid puffed out form on the inside of a box in Fusion 360. Happy modeling.